Hi guys, welcome to Iceland. It's James Nader here on location. Just completed our three week shoot campaign for the German company uh, Lamberts. And we've been really challenged by weather situations, locations, models, production, everything. But the one thing that has performed above all else is this camera. <laughs> GFX 50S. Now this is not an advert for Fuji. All I can say is that the camera's performed absolutely fantastically. It's quite a chunky camera. It's almost like a 6 or 7 camera that we used to use, film camera. It's worked well in low lighting conditions. I've pushed the ISO up past 1000 to 1600 and the, the grain is not there. What I really noticed was the, the richness of colour and also the dynamic range that was evident in the highlights, even under flash lighting or just into, into shooting into the sunlight and some of the shots. We were using flash with the models um, just to try and underexpose slightly. So this obviously performed well with that, putting a sink on it and everything. And I did use it at 1600 at one point and the shots when blown up were pin sharp. Um, I really enjoyed using it. Great definition on the back screen. This power drive or battery pack here is great for holding and shooting lights. So we've got the viewfinder prism on the top, which really worked well. Sharpness, I am really impressed with. Um, the focusing ability of the camera in low light was pretty good. So it's not for fast shooting. It's not for, I suppose, shooting cars and racing and, and runners and sport. But what it is useful for is um, planned image where you can shoot one, two, three shots. Uh, it does get a little bit slower in lower light in terms of the focusing ability, but if you're shooting fashion, you don't necessarily need to be shooting it on multiple frames. You know, like the Nikon, you've got seven to nine frames a second. You don't need that. You just need to be more focused and more deliberate. The lens range that they gave us was a complete set, 32 to 64, a 64, a 110, and one other lens. I couldn't remember that. Also, uh, a viewfinder that pivots around up and down. We didn't actually use that. We didn't need to. In terms of lightness and maneuverability, it was superb. I would definitely want one of these for myself. The quickness of display, superb. Quality of the back, display, superb. The quality of color rendition from here to the computer, slightly different, but you can set it. But for me, it was okay. We've just previewed all the shots with the client and sent them back to Germany. I definitely say it's a piece of kit. Hasselblad, just not as reliable as I thought it would be when I was using it. This, so far, has performed brilliantly. The shots are great. The lens is a pin sharp, accurate. There's no fading on the edges. There's no softness on the edges. Most of the shots were shot around F8 to F11. All through the day, keep it around there so I'll get a little bit of softness in the background, you know, the distance. At the end of the day, this lens of 3264 that we're using here is used deliberately because obviously come to a location, we don't necessarily want to use um, a close-up lens because we want to see the location. That's what it's all about. I would definitely go out and get a full kit of this. I definitely recommend this. It's the Fuji GFX 50S and three lenses kit. If you've got the money, get yourself one of these. See you later. <laughs>